Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the number one team in the country, the 11-0 VMI Cadets on a 22-game winning streak taking on Big 12 foe Tennessee Tech, folks. This should be a good one. Cadets, they've struggled a couple times this season, a couple close games. And we're going to take a look at those and, you know, see if the Golden Eagles have a shot at possibly ending this 22-game winning streak and the national championship hopes of the VMI Cadets. All right, we're sharing the Discord. Go ahead and slap the like button for me, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community. Get yourself on the field for Season 4 of this here series. There's a link in the description below. Oh, let's see. Okay, these are all blowouts. They've been blowing out mostly everybody. A very close game against Southeastern. I believe the San Diego State game was pretty close until the fourth quarter. Yes, it was. Yeah, so they've struggled a bit, just a little bit, recently. Uh, and against, you know, teams that are not going to the bowl season. So I, I'm not going to overlook the Golden Eagles at all here today. As the Cadets look to go 12-0 and for the first time in school history. Let's do this. And to try to finish off the regular season undefeated, we're going with the All Blacks. Let's get it. I'm ready. And I hope you are too. Don't judge me and my singing. All right, who we got in the chat? Who we got? All right, Tyler Rocky. We got Ryan Tobin, Ron Kemp, Hammer Jammer, and Parker the Hurricane Thomas in the chat. What is going on, folks? Not gonna lie to you, I had to do the intro to the video twice because, well, I forgot to unmute myself. Don't hate. Alright, we're gonna get the ball first. Justin Hops, Cam Sanders, and the rest of the offense. Ready to strike fear in the hearts of the Golden Eagles. Here is Jason Wright on the opening kickoff up to the 22-yard line. Let's take a look at the offense for the Cadets. Number one team in the country, Justin Hops under center. Cam Sanders, Ladarius Johnson, and Ryan Tobin in the backfield. Blocking for them is Matt Keller at fullback. Receiving core, Joseph Martin, Jason Wright, Eric Matheny. And at tight end, Jake Perry and Jay Balmer. And here's Cam Sanders, opening carry of the game, and he's just outrunning everybody. Oh, my goodness, to the 46-yard line. Great start for VMI. Jay Washington in the chat. What's up, Jay? Little Mike in the chat. How's everybody doing today? It's most likely going to be a doubleheader here this morning. I want to try to do at least two. I may do three and then save one for tonight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Ryan Tobin in the backfield at halfback. Quick strike over the middle, and that's Joseph Martin. Nice throw from Justin Hops, the junior quarterback. In a perfect world, I'd be able to do four games right now and finish the whole week. That would be lovely. Pitch it out. Cam Sanders. He's got the first down again. He's just so fast. First and 10 from the 31-yard line. Already threatening. Yo, what's up, Ray? A.K.A. Krista Matthews in the chat. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. At least get a few yards out of it. Or get a first down. Justin hops inside the red zone. Let's go. That is beautiful. Number two team in the country in the red zone. 95%. Amazing. Oh, you couldn't get that block for me? Come on now. We were doing so good, guys. Craniac Gaming in the chat. What's up, buddy? All right, 
second down, 17. Hops is a little tired now. This is one of the worst defenses in football history. Throw it up top, wide open. Oh my goodness, the throw, the route. It was immaculate. That was so beautiful. Let's go. That was one of the best corner routes I've ever seen in my life. Alright, first and goal from the two-yard line. I formation. Ryan Tobin in there at halfback for this play. And Tobin will get blown up in the backfield. Loss of two. Freeman with three tackles, one for a loss already in the game. On just the opening drive. Oh boy, this right tackle. You're failing me, buddy. Third and go from the 10. Number one team in the country on third down, 60% conversion rate. Oh my goodness. That's just filthy. Fullback, touchdown, Kedex. Guns up, baby, let's go. Matt Keller, I believe that's his first touchdown catch of the season. Maybe of his career, I don't know. What a throw, my goodness. All right. Kedet's on top, about to be 7 0 in the first quarter. John Perez, aka Pete Mitchell, in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Red tackle's looking like Lumpkin. Oh, boy. <laughs> we don't talk about that, Jay. Look at a little hammer jammer on the kickoff. Missing the tackle. It's all good. Force the back inside. I'll take it. Let's take a look at the defense for uh, the Gidets. William Reed and Javon Stewart are the defensive ends. Henry Hamilton at deep tackle. Hit a linebacker, Trey Upton. Junior cornerback, Bryson Shields. Free safeties, Darius Peters and Jack Hammer. And Mike Adams, the senior strong safety. Might help if I was actually on Peters, which is, you know who I'm always using on this team. There we go, second and inches. A little play action, a little quick pass to the left to Gibson, first down, Golden Eagles. Now, like I was saying before the game started, the Cadets have struggled a little bit in their previous two matchups this season. Almost lost one to, uh, was it Southeastern? Oh, I couldn't get there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they almost lost to Southeastern. I believe it was 52-49. And then Sam Houston State put up a good fight until the fourth quarter. A lot of teams just giving the cadets their all right now, trying to get that big upset. And the Golden Eagles, they're starting out hot. Already inside the 40-yard line of VMI. Pass. Oh, my goodness. Jack Hammer with a deflection. Nothing like watching some FCS football and drinking Dr. Pepper. I love it. Dr. Pepper is the greatest of all time. Another play action play. Oh, I misplayed that one. Britain inside the 20.
I wish I had a Dr. Pepper right now. I do have Mountain Dew Voltage in the fridge downstairs. That's just so far away. I wish VMI has a bigger stadium. That, that would be nice. It's as loud as it gets. Because it is jam-packed. All right, second and 10 from the 19. It's getting a bit brisk in SoCal. Put on a coat for the first time in months. I've been putting on a coat for like, I don't know, three months here in New York. Feels bad. All right, folks, third and 11. Can we hold them? I'm gonna send Bryson Shields on a blitz. Imagine watching FCS drink Arnold Palmer. Oh my goodness. I wish I also had some Arnold Palmer. That would be fantastic. Oh, deflected away by Darius Peters. Let's go. Good stop for the defense. As soon as they got to the red zone, we shut them down. And it is seven to three, near in Lexington, Virginia. All right, Jason Wright again on the return, and no blocking. Fantastic. See how Justin Hops responds to the Golden Eagles getting a field goal. Where's the corner? Where's the cornerback? I don't know where he was on the left side, but I'll take the first down for Hops. I love to run play action with this team because they're just so deadly on the ground. Defense has to respect it. Oh my goodness! Where'd the linebacker come from? Very few interceptions this season for Hops. I believe he's still in the single digits. Oh, look. wow. My man did a little spinner Rooney to get that pick. All right, defense back on the field. Trying to get the ball back for their Heisman hopeful offensive players. Hops and Sanders, and that play goes nowhere. Let's go. And we're up to 13 viewers already here. Getting more views on these day streams than we are. What a hit. Oh, my goodness. Get him out of here. We're getting more viewers on the day streams than we do on uh, the streams at night. Kind of crazy. I like it. All right, third down and seven. Quickly in a third and long. An audible here. Are they going to run it here? Nope. Yep. Oh, what was that animation, my guy? Unreal. Dad invented his own version of Arnold Palmer. Whiskey and sweet tea. Let's have Klein try that. No, I'm good. I, <laughs> I do not drink alcohol. Alright, second down. Marvin Joseph, what's going on, buddy? Welcome. Welcome, my friend. Wade, 21 touchdowns, 13 picks in his career. Closing in on 3,000 passing yards as well. Let's go. Get him out of here. Darius Peters to the house. Let's go. Don't ever test me again. Guns up, baby. 
102 yard pick six for the junior safety, Darius Peters. Oh, that was glorious. And just like that, it's an 11 point ball game. Y'all see how fast he was on that pick? Oh my goodness. I believe that was the running back trying to chase him down. I can't remember who has the longest pick six. Because that was not the record right there. I want to say it was somebody from Savannah State. I could be wrong. Jay, you're in the chat. Do you know that one? Who has the longest interception return touchdown? Oh my goodness, we almost had another one. Mike Adams with a deflection. Get him. Adams on the stop. McGee, 778 rushing yards on the season. Six touchdowns. Not bad. Got to bump those numbers up a little bit. Your team might have a winning record. Boom. Got him. Nice hit. Oh my goodness. The corner with the big hit. Okay, then. Was it Cody Lee Jr. with the pick six that has the longest one? You know, deal with player stats. Come on, Jay. Step your game up, my guy. Oh, nice play. Jack Hammer. Laying the hammer down. Loss of one. Second and 11, final play of the first quarter. And Dean going to get tackled at the line of scrimmage by Trey Upton, the junior middle linebacker. Cadets on top 14-3 to three as we head into the second quarter. And it's third and 10. Play action. Oh my goodness, he's beat. Oh, but he overthrows him. Oof. Got a little lucky on that. And he is tearing his quarterback a new one right now. He knows they just missed a golden opportunity. <laughs> I know. I have terrible jokes. Get it? Golden Eagles? Golden? Come on, bro. All right, first punt return of the day for Mr. Bryson Shields. And Shields gets caught very quickly at the 16-yard line. Setting up a screen, and that was one of the worst plays of all time. The screen has like a 5% chance of working. It's very sad. All right, second and 12, after almost throwing a pick six. And the smallest defensive end in the entire universe is in the zone for the Golden Eagles. But it's okay, because Ryan Tobin's going to get the rock and just outrun everybody. Oh, my goodness. Woo. <laughs> he almost broke it. Come on, Jay. You don't like my jokes? <laughs> Come on. Come on, bro. Right. 
All right, first and ten from the 41. Linebacker in the zone now. Oh boy, get away from me! Get away! <laughs> I don't want to get hit. It's just a good way to get hurt. Pretty good game so far. Oh, broken tackle. Cam Sanders still up and gets the first down. Let's go. Alright, we got Jake Barry in the zone. Try to get the tight end of the football. Nope. Martin's wide open. Oh my goodness. Come on, bro. His only two incomplete passes are a drop and the pick where the linebacker did like a pirouette and picked it off. Tobin gets the rock again. Good block. Tobin down the sideline once again. Oh, with the back juke. And gets it down to the 17. Jason right down there. Just pancaking defenders as well. Man, we're just, just absolutely destroying this uh, left side of the field on the ground right now. Over 100 yards. Speaking of cats, where's the mad catter? Uh, I locked him out of the office today. He was annoying me. Jake Berry wide open. Touchdown, Kedex. Guns up, baby. Let's go. What a beautiful throw. Even better route. I mean, nobody's even close to Berry. Who is in the running for the John Mackey Award this season. Back juke is so nasty. It sure is. I love doing the back juke. You got a DB trying to chase you down. He's got an angle on you, and you hit that back juke, and he just dives and falls on his face. That's the most satisfying feeling in the world. It's so good. It's hard to time it perfectly, but when, when you do, it's so nasty. All right, back to defense. It's 21 to 3. Oh, quick pressure. We can't get there. And he lets him catch that. Wow. Look at all these first downs in the first half 17 combined first downs. That's kind of crazy. Now, if the Golden Eagles could just hold on to the football and not throw a 102-yard pick six to Darius Peters, this would be a closer game. Oh, come on, Henry. Come on. Head coach Rondé Barber. A little upset with his defensive tackle there. Hamilton is now in the zone after going offsides. You'll love to see it. Quarterback draw. Nice tackle by Javon Stewart. Pickup of two. Get him out of here. Get him out. Little Mike, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore that joke, man. <laughs> That's rough. That's worse than my joke. I'm just saying. All right, third down and two from the 43-yard line. Oh, they're gonna throw it. Okay. Really? 
Why do I have to come back and make the tackle when there's a linebacker right there on him? Oh, that feels bad. Hamilton only went offside to get in the zone. I respect it. That's my fault right here. Oh, he missed him again. Oh, my goodness. That's two deep shots that Wade has missed where they should have been touchdowns. I waited a little bit too long to fall back there. Option. Oh, it got blown up. And Wade is dropped for a loss by Gunn. Four tackles and a sack in the game. His own right, his right guard dropped back in pass protection. I don't know if I've ever seen that in this game. Option, and he drops back to pass protect. Wow. It's actually crazy. Come on, what is that animation? Oh, feels bad. Sorry, right, we forced him to punt it from the 40. And we'll get this at our own 14 yard line to start the drop. Let's get the freshman receiver involved. Almost broke free from that. I want to break free. Sorry, too much. Too much. Come on, Bomber, break free, buddy. Nice catch on the sideline by Jay Balmer. Let's go. First down, VMI. Hop, six of eight, 71 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Two touchdowns were to the fullback and the tight end. Oh, no. Of course I would get hit. Of course. Got zero power in that throw because I got hit at the last second. Those are the worst interceptions because you just have no control over it. Get him. All right, second down and nine. Nice tackle. Jackhammer on the stop. No game. After this game, we got the number six ranked Dayton Flyers taking on the Elon Phoenix. What a play. I don't know how he missed that. That's crazy. Last time they were down here, they threw a pick six to Darius Peters, 102 yards on the return. Lions got Everson Griffin. Yes, sir, I saw that trade. Tight end reverse. Oh, they pitched it. And the fumble is recovered by Javon Stewart. Oh, my goodness. Just let him near the end zone. We'll get the ball every time. Wow. Let's go. And Gunn hit the quarterback. I'm not sure who forced the fumble. Let's see. 
And Bryson Shields close lining the halfback. Just glorious. Well, there is Johnson in at halfback. We're going to give him the rock here. And there is Johnson's gone. Goodbye. 96 yards for the sophomore halfback. Touchdown, Kedex. Wow. Talk about reversing the field here. Untouched. Got to the outside and just forget about it. They have nobody on the left side of their defense. We've got over 200 rushing yards on the left side of the field. Without the pick six and a forced fumble, they could be winning this ball game right now, actually. They could be up 17 to 14. That's how crazy football is. I love it. 28 to 3? Stop it, Jay. <laughs> Stop it. Nice tackle. That was William Reed on the stop. Third and seven. Let's call a timeout. They are three for six on third down. Henry Hamilton in the zone at defensive tackle. Let's go. Tyler Rocky with a 60 to 10 win prediction for VMI. I like it. All right, Bryson, let's get it from the 26. That man is fast. Oh, almost got free. All right, we got 38 seconds. Plenty of time to throw another pick here. It's just how it is sometimes. Nope. You run somebody over on the sideline. That's fine. Ryan Tobin to the outside and close to the sticks. Didn't get it. Third and in inches. I don't know how I didn't get that, but all right. I'd like to at least get a field goal here before the half. Okay, hops. Okay, hops. Down to the 21. Let's go. Great blocking. If Martin could have held that last block for just a split second longer. Hops was gone. Two hundred and fifty-six rushing yards in the first half. Jake Barry one-on-one. -on -one. He's got to beat again. Touchdown, VMI. Oh, no. I was too early on the celebration. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. I'm sad. At least the clock stopped. Got that going for us. Fire the guy in the booth. He had the celebration too early. Unreal. I haven't seen a flag that late in a long time. 
That's a touchdown. Joseph Martin. Oh, he dropped another one. Bruh. What are you doing? Oh, it's extremely unfortunate, guys. I'm not kicking that field goal. Hopefully they have one-on-one -on -one coverage with Barry. Jake Barry, nice deflection. All right, so it's 28 to three. As we head into the half, should be 35 to three, but you know, late flags. That's so unfortunate. I'm so sad we didn't get any points right there. The biggest question though is how many touchdowns is Joseph Martin going to drop tonight? That's unfortunate. We gotta get some pressure on this quarterback. I don't know. I think we only have one sack. Maybe two. Send Mike Adams on a blitz. Oh, I misplayed it. I'm upset. I'm upset. I knew exactly what they were doing right there. And I still misjudged it. I'm pissed. Oh, man. All right, offense, let's get it together. Yeah, almost 300 yards of offense so far. That's crazy. No blocking. This right tackle, I swear. Come on now. Unreal. And that's why he's a bad player. Fantastic. At least he got the block there. Can, can we get some more blocking, please? Or Hops will just break every tackle numb to man and get the first down. Let's go. Not sure who Keller. Keller literally hit zero people. He gets all the way to the secondary and just doesn't touch a soul. Come on, bro. Keller, wide open. It's the big fullback. And by big, I mean he's kind of tiny. It's like five foot eight, I think. It's all right. Nice catch. His second of the game. Probably the first time in his career where he has more than one catch in a game. Oh, boy. Wow. Unbelievable. Third and 12. What is happening? Top, Balmer, first down, let's go. 
clutch. Nigel Larkins injures his elbow on the play. One of the linebackers, I believe. Can't wait for the EFL to come back. It's coming, Tyler. It's coming, buddy. Up the sideline. Nice deflection. I thought he was going to come over to the flats and cover Barry. Larkin's out for the game. Elbow bursitis. I believe he was the left outside linebacker, if I'm not mistaken. Get away from me. Get away from me. Sanders down to the 21. That poor left side of the defense. Wow. Over 220 rushing yards to the left. And it hasn't just been one player. It's, you know, everybody. Pops, Tobin, Johnson, Sanders. They're all just destroying the left side. Very similar to South Dakota State last night. And couldn't pitch it. The right side of our line is just booty. It's booty. Right guard got pushed all the way back. Right tackle missed a block. Let's go off tackle to Tobin here. Second and 13. Could be good. Let's get Barry in motion. A little extra blocking. And unfortunately, nobody blocked the middle linebacker. So we're at third and 13 now. From the 24, we are three for three on third down. Uh-oh. Throw it up top. Jake Barry. Oh, just overthrown. Which FCS schools are not in the game that you can create in NCAA 06? I have a playlist on the channel, Alex. It has all of them, except for the, the new ones that literally just joined the FCS uh, this season. Field goal from Clark is up, and that's right down the middle. And it's 31-10 VMI on top. Ashley Jackson in the chat. What's up, Ashley? Checking in from work. I like it. Appreciate you stopping by. Much love. Uh oh. Good return by Ratliff. Quarterback is sacked. Javon Stewart on the stop. How did he fit that in there? Come on now. Dangerous throw just for a few yards. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's third down and nine. And another sack. Let's go. Trey Upton on the stop. Third sack for the defense in the game. That running back had no clue what to do. Another block. Oh, I bounced off of him out of bounds. That's unfortunate. All right, I would really, really like to get in the end zone again. Let's 
been a while. Wide open. Let's go. Martin catches one finally. Crazy throw from Hops all the way across the field, showing his arm strength. Martin had to come back for a little bit, but we made it work. Over the middle, wide open is Matheny, and he's in. Touchdown, VMI. Guns up. Let's go. Beautiful throw from Hops. Great route. Just wide open, sitting there by himself. That was a laser beam of a throw. And the freshman has himself a touchdown. Love getting the young guys involved on the offense. I love it. Matheny and Tobin. Jay Ballmer, the sophomore tight end. They've been a huge help for the offense this season. And a big reason why this team is still undefeated. And about to win their 23rd straight game. But it's not over yet. Not going to count out the Golden Eagles just yet. They've got a couple, oh, a few really nice drives in this game. A couple resulted in some turnovers, which is unfortunate for them. Come on, Hammer, get there. Let's go, Jack Hammer with a great play on kickoff. Look at that young man rumble. I like it. Big disparity in the yards. Cadets with almost 200 more than the Golden Eagles. Oh, it's a pick. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's go for the 40 burger. We're getting there. Oh, he's going to take off. Okay. Gets maybe a yard. Third down and nine coming up. Four receivers set in the shotgun for Wade. Quick pass out of bounds. Monday Barber almost caught it though. Is Jack Hammer the nephew of MC Hammer? I don't think so. <laughs> Shields on for another one. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Okay, Riley. Thank you. <laughs> I got a little too cute with it right there. Too many moves. Goldberg's finisher is a jackhammer. Nice. I prefer watching him spear people. Good blocking. Good blocking. Sanders, first down. Sanders, of course, is in the Heisman watch list right now. 23 touchdowns on the season on the ground. He doesn't have a shot at winning it, but it's good to see his name up there. He's had a pretty good career for VMI. The junior has. And here is the future for VMI, Ryan Tobin, as he gets no blocking on the right side. Well, he's got 446 yards this season, and only one touchdown? Really? Really. I could have swore he had more than that. It's been balling out. Uh-oh. And the fullback makes another catch as a flag for holding, though. That would have been Keller's third reception of the game. Instead, we're moving backwards because of holding yet again. 
This line is just... The, the right side of the line has been really bad tonight. I did not mean to bullet past that. Oh, boy. Now I'm upset. I'm upset. I held the button for just a split second too long. Man, oh man. Three interceptions for Hops. I think that's a season high for him. I'm going to go uh, sit in the fetal position in the corner and just cry myself to sleep. I think that's what's going to happen right now. And another sack on Wade. This time it's Stewart again, his second of the game. And that'll end the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. Number one ranked VMI Cadets trying to win their 23rd straight game against the 5-5 five five Golden Eagles of Tennessee Tech. All right, defense, let's get it. Second and 16. Deep shot to the end zone. Jack Hammer. Oh, what a hit by the Hammer. Let's go, freshman. Okay. <laughs> I like it. What a hit. Wow. And Mike Adams with a deflection. We hold him to fourth down. And they're going to go for it. Of course. Wasn't sure what defense to pick there. Fourth and 16 to go. It's all or nothing for the Golden Eagles. And Wade tries to take off. He's sacked by William Reed, the junior defensive end. That ends the drive. Just broke off of his block. Brought him down to the ground. Sanders in the secondary, and Sanders still going up to midfield. Only six carries, but my goodness, he's had a pretty good game. Johnson, no blocking. He's going to lose a yard. Freeman on the stop. Second down and 11 coming up. Oh boy, that play was just a fail from the start. Third down and 15. Martin, double coverage. Oh my goodness, he came down with it. Get mossed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a play. Woo. Oh, that's nasty. That is just filthy. Wow. Unreal. Bryson Shields in the chat. What's going on, buddy? And Tobin, oh no, the freshman fumbles it. O'Neal does recover, though. And Tobin is dropped the one-yard line. The freshman just can't quite punch it in there. And he is exhausted. Right. 
All right, third and goal from the about the one and a half yard line. Everybody's in the zone on the screen except for Cam Sanders. And Matt Keller, the fullback, is stuffed. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to go for the points here. No need to get crazy. I believe Clark is perfect kicking field goals on the season as well. And he will remain perfect. 41 to 10 is the score. So we take a five score lead. Just about. Unless they want to get crazy and get a whole bunch of uh, two point conversions. Make a crazy comeback with 327 to go. You never know. I'm going to put that uh, Joseph Martin catch up for one of the plays of the year, by the way. That, that was just insane. I can't believe he caught it. He's dropped two touchdowns today that were just right in his hands. <laughs> Wide open. But then he catches that pass. Come on now. What do you mean? McGee breaks the initial tackle of Peters, but Peters still brings him down. We're up to 14 viewers now on the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Please slap that like button if you haven't already. And subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community to get yourself on the field. Oh my goodness. Uh, in Season 4 of this series for one of our 12 schools, there's a link in the description below. Hope to see you guys in there if you're new. As Bryson Shields gets mossed as well. I'm really eager to get into the offseason and see all these juniors that are going to try to declare for the EFL draft. Nice throw and catch, my goodness. The first... Uh, official, official EFL draft will be happening um, mid uh, season 4 of the FCS series so we'll get to week 8 of season 4 of the FCS dynasty which is this of course we'll do the EFL draft get you guys hyped up and after season 4 we'll have um, season 2 oh my goodness what a hit well, it's season two of the EFL after season four of the FCS. So that's when all of our, our rookies will be playing after the draft for that. I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully I did not confuse anyone. I probably, should, I probably you know, confused everybody with what I just said, but whatever. Golden Eagles, 3 of 10 on third downs, third and 10. 2.07 to go. Nice play. Gibson is in the end zone for the touchdown. not for all the turnovers from the Golden Eagles, this would actually be a pretty good game. But two turnovers in the red zone, that really hurt them. That was a 14-point swing. And, I mean, they could be up 31-28 right now, or 27, really. If you think about it. Jay Balmer on the kick return, bouncing off guys. And all we got to do is run out the clock. Stick around after this stream, guys. We'll be having the sixth ranked Dayton Flyers taking on the Elon Phoenix. And Hops gets the first down. Please don't taunt. Please stop it. Let's 
Three more games left in the week after this one. And then week 15, there are five more games. There's one game for week 16, so I'm just going to loop that into uh, week 15's games. Tobin, oh, the stiff arm. I gave him the ball one time and he's exhausted. What do you mean? So crazy. All right, second down and five. So we look to run out the clock. And Hops will move the chains yet again. He's got 566 rushing yards this season on 100 carries with 10 touchdowns. That's not bad at all. Not too shabby. Peters played the game for VMI. He had that 102-yard interception return touchdown. And Carr played the game for the Golden Eagles. He had one heck of a game on defense. Oh, Ladarius Johnson is gone. Touchdown, VMI. Guns up. Wow. He is out of his mind. And there it is, 48 to 17 now. Ground attack was too much for the Golden Eagles. Over a hundred plays ran here today. How did I not pick that? I was in perfect position. Oh my goodness. That just makes me sick to my stomach that I didn't pick that. Gibson, 137 yards on five catches with a touchdown. Not too bad. That play goes nowhere. Trey Upton, five tackles in the game. Probably two or three for a loss and a sack. Chaos is dripping in the chat. What's going on, my brother? How are you? Quarterback sweep. How'd that work out for you guys? Henry Hamilton in the zone now to tackle on third and 18. And this holding. So the play will not count. And that is it, folks. Number one VMI remains perfect on the season. 12-0 on a 23-game winning streak as they defeat the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles 48-17 here in Lexington, Virginia. In those sweet blackout unis. If 06 didn't have the number outline glitch, it would look even better with the red outline on the number. But, you know. I'm not going to get too picky. All right, let's take a look at the stats. Then we'll get into our second game, which is number six, Dayton, hosting the Elon Phoenix. Golden Eagles, 300 passing yards in the game. We sacked them five times. We got sacked four times. We had three interceptions. That was rough. And two takeaways in the red zone. Inside the five-yard line, actually. 
And no punts for us today. Four penalties, 27 yards. That math just doesn't add up to me. Hops, 12 of 20, 207 yards, three touchdowns, three picks. Rough game for him, but we got the job done. Johnson, three carries, 127 yards, two touchdowns. Of course, he had the 96-yarder. And then his other run was, well, we just saw it on that last drive, right up the middle. Sanders, 94 yards. Hops, 76. Ryan Tobin was 67 yards. And a fumble for Tobin, but it was recovered by the offense, so it's all good. Keller, touchdown catch. Eric Matheny, one catch, 32 yards and a touchdown. Jake Barry, one catch, 27 or 17 yards and a touchdown. Plenty of people had catches here. All subscriber and Discord players. Two drops for Martin. Both of them were touchdowns. But he had that amazing reception and double coverage. Peters, eight tackles. Gunn had seven. Upton, Shields had six. Jack Hammer with five. One for a loss. Let's go. Stewart, two sacks. William Reed had a sack today. Nine tackles for a loss for the defense. Five sacks. One pick for 102 yards. Four deflections. A forced fumble for Bryson Shields. Recovered by Javon Stewart. And the defensive touchdown, of course. Ross Clark, two for two field goals. Six of six extra points. Nine kickoffs, four touchbacks. And no punts. And nothing noteworthy on uh, returns. But that is it for this stream, guys. Peters, Johnson, Stewart plays the game for VMI. Carr, Wade, and Gibson plays the game for Tennessee Tech. Uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Give me give me five minutes to get our next stream set up. That is 10 and 1, number 6, Dayton Flyers hosting the 2 and 8, Elon Phoenix. That is the Flyers' final regular season matchup this year. And looking to go out on on a high note. I'm not sure. They need a lot of help to get into the national championship discussion. They need North Dakota State uh, to lose to VMI in the Big 12 title game. And they also need Jacksonville to lose in one of their next two matchups that they have. So we'll, we'll see how that goes for Dayton. But Jacksonville, I believe they play after Dayton, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, go ahead and slap the like button on your way out of the stream if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get yourself on the field for Season 4 of our FCS Dynasty. So give me five minutes, guys, and I will see you there. Take it easy.